Welcome to Portland today on a Wednesday. Yes, we have young guests in studio. That young lady, uh, she receiving some pediatric <laughs> acupuncture right here on our show this morning. It's part of a uh, segment we like to call Parenting SOS. A lot different yes. than you might think though. No needles involved with this type. We'll have to get that cleared up with the doctor. I need yeah. to understand how is it acupuncture if we're not using needles. Yeah, and you have to know she is four and a half. That is four and a half year old Sia. <laughs> she told me she's four and a half. Are you four? <laughs> oh, oh, good to know. I'm glad you told me. So, have you guys had acupuncture? I have. I have too for yeah. my uh, shoulder, and it did relieve the pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My wife is a big believer. She's had it for. She went in for one thing, like her knee, and while she was there, she was complaining of a cold, and she they, it helped heal her cold. Wow. And well, what about was, the knee? Uh, the knee, it, it started hurting on the other. No, no, the <laughs> knee felt better. The knee felt better, and there was something else. I can't remember. Oh, it was like a skin condition. Uh -huh. That's what she went in for originally. Something for the skin, up. and then her knee and it started to help hurt. the skin. And while she was there, she's like, you know, I hurt my knee running. She's like, let me stick some needles in there. <laughs> knee felt better. It's like my nose is running. I have a cold. <laughs> Have you and tried it? All these things are going on. I only tried it on a story once, and I was, you know, what stayed with me is the flexible needle. Oh, you know, right, right, right. I expected like a stiff needle, but like you're giving flexible. blood yeah. needle. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and you? Um, yeah, I, I've done it a lot of times, and I, I'm. I will admit I do not like needles. Most people don't, but I have like a little bit of a ridiculous fear. And I, um, first time I didn't even hurt. feel them. Really, yeah, it no. really doesn't hurt. So. I never understood that. You're right. People go, oh, I don't like needles. Who does like needles? Well, if you true, like needles, true. you have a problem, actually. <laughs> well, I don't think Sia does, and they're not using needles on her this morning. Find out more about it. Let's huh? do it. Let's take the walk. The long walk across the studio. Ashley, walk. would you mind joining me, please? I will. Uh, there go. Not only is Sia here, her mother, Margaret, is standing behind her, and we have Corinne LeBlanc, acupuncturist and herbalist, representing the Nourishing Medicine Clinic. So the first question I had, how do we call this acupuncture if we're not actually using needles? That's a great question. So this is actually a method of Japanese acupuncture for children. Um, it's called Shoni Shin. It was developed in somewhere around the 1700s, and it was specifically developed for children as a way to do a non-invasive, totally gentle, totally painless, and it feels pretty good, right? Yes, yeah, Sia, tell us what you uh, told me earlier. How does it feel when she's doing that? What does it feel like? Tickles. It tickles. <laughs> well, I feel like we should bring mom in for the uh, the real obvious question. Yeah. Why? Why is your daughter receiving this treatment? Um, well, initially for a little bit of digestive issues and for sleep issues, helping her sleep better. And you were you got acupuncture. You were telling us yeah. quite a funny story, actually. <laughs> yeah, Corinne actually helped me go into labor with my second daughter. And that was, with was traditional acupuncture. With traditional acupuncture, yeah. I gotta tell you, uh, our boys, we had twins, they, they both had, uh, they were terrible sleepers through yeah. the first like three years. They had digestive problems too, they had that acid reflux. Mm. We didn't try the acupuncture, we did do a, a pediatric chiropractor. Uh, and that actually helped with the with the acid reflux. Yeah. My point, I guess, in bringing all that up yeah. is, what else would we use this with this pediatric acupuncture for? What are some of the other that's situations? A, that's a great question. So, because um, this form, as well as acupuncture, which actually pierces through the skin, mm -hmm. um, they're both really helping to improve circulation, calming the nervous system, um, really benefiting the immune system. So you can use it for a whole host of things: um, allergies, asthma, um, skin disorders, so things like eczema, as Margaret alluded to, um, sleep problems. Um, and, and clearly, Sia is an acupuncturist in training, so you maybe see. you have a future partner going on. <laughs> I think so. Karen, tell us a little bit about the tools, because I looked at them, and they're, they're kind of cute. They're teeny. They adorable. <laughs> yeah, so Sia's definitely got her favorites, which are displayed right here. Um, and so, essentially, each of the tools are used a little bit differently. Um, some of them are used to scrape on the skin, and it's a really light stroking method that we use. Um, that one that she's about to get right now is used to tap the skin so we can actually get to specific acupuncture points without actually getting through the skin. Um, and then others are used to, to roll on the skin like this guy right here. I feel like, a, I'm sorry Ash, I feel like a pediatric uh, acupuncturist must have small hands themselves. I don't see Byron who, who, who works in our studio with his big hands being able to handle those tools. Like, I know, it might be more difficult for Byron, I must admit. Zia, which one is your favorite? Do you have one you that you really love? What's that one? What does that one do? That looks sort of needle-like, little, little to be pumpy? honest with you. Absolutely, yeah. So that one's really good for, like I said, kind of getting more to specific acupuncture points. So you can use that just like C is doing um, in a certain area and stimulate certain points. So let me ask Margaret, uh, mom again, 
you wanted to use some of this acupuncture with your daughter because of her uh, her sleeping problems or issues yep. and some digestive issues. Yep. And so were those problems resolved through this? Yeah, if absolutely. so, how quickly? Absolutely. A uh, few sessions, I would say, what, over, uh, you know, noticeable improvement within a couple months. Okay. And, yeah. and how young is this safe for? What age? Great range? question. So two, around two months old, we can start. Um, I've seen kids as young as two months old for things like wow. colic. So, okay. Yeah. Corinne, again, thank you for joining us thank from the you. Nourishing Medicine Clinic. <laughs> and I'm not going to say where exactly you guys are from. That's inappropriate, but I do appreciate you being in the studio today. <laughs> Sia and Margaret. Thank you. Hey, thank you did you. a great job. Can I have a high five? All yeah. Right. I want to say we'll be right back. Go ahead. Yell it loudly. <laughs> Translated, <laughs> we'll that right was back. we'll be right back. Yes. <laughs> Good job.